to go to the moon and this decay and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Left off to check it. off the pad for our eighth electron launch. Soon we'll be approaching the point of the flight where the forces against the rocket are at their peak, otherwise known as max-Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Let's listen in for that call. HP battery discharge nominal. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching maximum dynamic pressure. Pass through max Q. Brutus has entered flight mode. There you have it. Electron has gone supersonic and has made its way through max Q. We'll now tick through a number of milestones on the way to orbit. Guidance is nominal, 50 seconds remaining. AOS Chatham Station. Page 1 propulsion remains nominal. Stand by for me going approximately 30 seconds. Soon the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage will shut off ahead of its separation from the rest of the rocket. Once stage one and stage two have separated, the final vacuum optimized ready. Rutherford engine on Electron's second Interim stage will come to, to life mode. and propel Electron the rest of the way to orbit. Stage one Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. Stage two ignition. Propulsion is nominal. And there it is, main engine cutoff has been confirmed and Electron's first and second stages have successfully separated. For the payloads to be deployed from the kick stage, first the protective fairing needs to open up and fall away. Things are looking good and propulsion is nominal as we approach fairing separation. Fairing jettison succeeded. The fairing is separated, clearing the way for payload deployment, coming up in approximately 50 minutes from now. Guidance is nominal, altitude is 150 kilometers. Mission Control, I can check in with you at 3 minutes and 45 seconds into flight. Everything is looking great as Electron continues onto orbit.
Stage 2 HPP battery discharge is nominal. If you're just joining us for the webcast of Electron's Lookman No Hands mission, we've had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and stage 2 ignition. Electron is looking, looking healthy with a velocity of 10,000 kilometers per hour and an altitude of 220 kilometers. Guidance is nominal. Quick update from Rock Lab Mission Control. Electron's propulsion is nominal ahead of our battery hot swap. 200 seconds remaining. So we're now at T plus 5 minutes and 45 seconds since liftoff, and next on the list of mission milestones is the battery hot swap. Electrons batteries power electric pumps on the yeah, Rutherford engines, sick. but once we get to this point in the mission, these batteries are depleted and we no longer need them. So we do a quick hot swap from the depleted Being batteries over to another fully charged one to maintain swap. power to the engine and provide a much more efficient ride the rest of the way to orbit. Let's listen in for the call on the hot swap. Throttling down. Hot swap successful. Battery jettison confirmed. Stage 2 propulsion still nominal. As you've just heard, we've had successful battery hot swap. Electron's, electron's trajectory continues to look nominal. So we're approximately a minute and 45 seconds away from kick stage separation. Velocity is 18,000 kilometers per hour and altitude is 304 kilometers. The look mono hands mission continues to look good. HV battery discharge holding nominal. One minute remaining, speed is six kilometers per second, altitude is 310 kilometers. Just a quick update for you here on Rocket Lab's Look Ma No Hands mission. We're about one minute away from kick stage separation and Electron continues nominally. Entering burnout to check mode. Twenty seconds remaining. Guidance is in terminal. Five seconds. Engine shut down. Good transfer of what achieved. As you just saw, Electron's second stage has shut down as planned. With the cl clean separation of the kick stage, Electron is orbital, and it feels good to be back. So here's a quick explanation of how this innovative Electron kick stage works to deploy payloads to orbit. We use stage 2 to take the payload to an elliptical parking orbit, as shown here, before the kick stage separates from Electron's second stage. 
By leaving the second stage in this highly elliptical orbit, it experiences a high amount of atmospheric drag, and as a result, the stage is dragged back into the Earth's atmosphere to be burned up in just a matter of weeks. Meanwhile, the kick stage lights its 3D-printed Curie engine and circularizes this orbit before deploying the payload. The kick stage is equipped with a cold gas reaction control system, which means we can accurately point the kick stage and deploy payloads to incredibly precise orbits, even when we're launching multiple satellites at once. Once the kick stage has deployed the payload, the Curie engine is capable of reigniting and performing a deorbit maneuver to burn itself up, leaving nothing behind in orbit but our customer satellites. So with that, I want to thank our mission partners for choosing to launch on our Electron, and thank you for joining us for our eighth Electron launch. We look forward to seeing you back here next month for another mission. I'm Max Muncy, and depending on where you are in the world, have yourself a good morning, a good day, or a good night. This is Rocket Lab Mission Control, signing off. go to the moon in this decay and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.